Hello viewers, I have decided to build a home web server to host my personal website. I have ordered all these parts uh, after going through many articles online and reviewing other people's builds from sources like YouTube and PCPartPicker.com. I'll be making another video detailing all these parts and explaining why I went with them. But I want to go through this motherboard uh, in detail which could help someone to decide whether to go with this board or not for the next build. So without any further ado, let's jump on. What we have here is an AMD AM1 i motherboard with AM1 socket for the AMD Sempron and Athlon line of processors. Just Athlon, not Athlon X, which uses a different socket. So let's open the box and see what's inside. We have a couple of uh, SATA cables. And I have a shield, a DVD with the drivers and utilities, and a user manual. Look pretty good. Let's look at the motherboard itself. This is a mini ITX board very beautiful in its black or dark brown color which feels trendy unlike the old green color boards. On the back panel I will it has a PS2 mouse, PS2 keyboard, HDMI, VGA, DVI D, two USB 3.0 ports, a gigabit Ethernet LAN port, two USB 2.0. For the audio, we got line in, line out our headset, and a mic. Let's look at some of the important uh, pins and sockets on the board. So, at the center, we have the socket for the CPU, you all know, AM1 socket. For the memory, it got two slots which accept DDR3 memory with 1333 or 1600 MHz clock speed and it accepts up to 32 gigabits, sorry, gigabytes in capacity. 24 pin uh, main power connector, 4 pin CPU power connector from the ATX 12 volt, a 3 pin CPU fan connector, a 4 pin system fan connector from the chassis. So if you have additional fans, um, you have to connect them to the power supply directly. Two SATA ports, one PCIe. 2.0 x16 slot for your graphic cards, modem, sound cards, etc. I'm not going to use this for my build. This is the mini PCI E slot. I was a little confused uh, when I first saw it uh, as it doesn't seem like uh, I can plug a mini PCI card in it. After looking at the manual, I found how the slot is supposed to be used. However, the way this slot is oriented, I can only think of using it for small M.2 SSD or a Wi-Fi adapter. Anyway, I'm not going to use this uh, for my web server, so I'm not worried. A system panel connector, uh, that is to connect your power, hard disk, and uh, reset switches. Let's take it closer. First two on the right are for the hard disk. Left two of the power LED and the next two pins on the right are for the reset switch. Next two pins on the left are for the actual power switch and one pin is reserved. We have here front panel audio connector 
just behind those just behind the audio output the final ones are the two USB 2.0 headers this covers all the important pins and connectors on the board now let's look at the two major drawbacks of this board if it matters to you because it doesn't in my case the way the SATA ports are oriented, let's uh, focus. The way the SATA ports are oriented, we can use only one of those with a given SATA cables. Um, I believe we can use uh, this one, which had bent 90 degrees. So if you want to connect anything other than the first hard disk, you have to go with some adapters. If I was intended to use only one hard disk, I'm not worried about this. The second problem is the USB um, headers. So this board got only the USB 2.0 headers and it doesn't have the USB 3.0 um, headers. So if you have USB 3.0 female USB ports on your chassis, you can't connect them. You may use an adapter like this to connect, but your 3.0 will work as a 2.0 USB port. In my case, uh, this is not a big deal because the PC will be out of sight serving the web pages. If this port is for a HD PC, this could be a little annoying. But again, there are many ways to overcome this problem by using uh, and extending the back panel USB using a cable or buying a cheap USB 3.0 PCI card. That comes the important aspects of this board. Let's build the PC and look at how it rolls. In the next video, please comment if I have misstated anything or if you have any questions. I'm not a pro, but will try to answer it to the best of my knowledge. Thanks for watching.